Hey, it's Clary here, and today I'll be showing you how to install the Spark plugin on your server. In order to be able to install the plugin, please make sure you head to your service and set it to either Paper or Spigot, as that's the server type required to run the plugin. I'll be creating a new service and setting the server type to Paper there. I'll also be leaving the version as the latest, as that's usually recommended. Once you've pressed Create Service and everything's loaded up, you can then head to Browse under the Plugin section. This is where you'll be able to search up Spark and press Enter. Then press Install Latest, as that will automatically install the plugin on your server. Once that's done, please make sure you restart the server for the changes to take effect. Luckily, the creators of Spark have a documentation page where you'll be able to view the commands and how to use them. As we can see under basic operation here, to use the Spark profiler when lag is occurring, you'll need to enter slash Spark profiler start. I'm going to go ahead and go into our server by copying the host name, and then I'll be joining to double check this works. Now that I'm on my server, I'll enter the Spark profiler start command, and ta-da! It states that the profiler is now running and it'll continue running until stopped by an admin. You can leave this command running as long as you'd like, but we recommend starting the profiler when lag is occurring in game. This is so we can accurately view what the cause of lag is. After some time when you're ready to stop the profiler, all you have to do is enter slash spark profiler stop. That will immediately output a message saying the profiler is stopped and the results are ready. All you have to do is press that link and then press yes as this link is safe. That will open up the profiler where you'll be able to view the causes of lag. Before we proceed with this though, there are a bunch of other commands you can use with the plugin to run a profiler. You can view all of those commands on the command you page which we'll leave in the description once again. When first presented with the profiler output, it can be a bit difficult to understand at first. Firstly, what you need to know is the profiler consists of threads, meaning you can click on them to expand and view further information. The percentages next to each thread show how much time was spent executing that code. You should look for areas with high percentages to identify potential bottlenecks. Not only that, but at the top here you'll also be able to view the TPS, CPU, memory and much more. You can even press the view entities, tile entities, chunks and other options to locate the source of lag. For example, if you also see a thread with a high percentage of entity lag, we usually recommend installing plugins that manage entity lag. To view more information on how to read and use this viewer, we'll be leaving the Spark documentation below as it details everything you need to know. I hope I was able to assist you in setting up your server. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below or contact our support. Bye guys!